Are you still following tutorial after tutorial? Are you still struggling to find a job? Are you still bouncing back and forth just trying to decide what programming language to learn? What's up guys, Clint here with CodeCommerce and in this video, I'm gonna try and help you escape from tutorial hell so you can get a job as a front end or even a full stack web developer. And I get it, following tutorial after tutorial and you know not really even going anywhere, it sucks. It feels like you're just spinning your wheels. I am about to shift your mindset, but first smash the like button, leave me a comment. I love interacting with you guys. And hey, kind of funny, right? A guy who built a channel off of you know coding tutorials and now I'm telling you not to do coding tutorials? Yes, you can still follow some videos, but look, this is exactly why I just cover specific things in my videos and a few full projects. But look, I don't have a JavaScript course. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I want you to succeed and I want you to find a job as a software developer. And you're not going to be able to do that if you just blindly follow every tutorial that's ever been made. I've been there. I get it. I've been the guy that watches every single tutorial on web development, you know, on YouTube. Okay. I've been the guy that purchased multiple Udemy courses. I've been there, you know, switching from programming language to programming language, you know, five times over before really even learning anything of value. I'm not going to sit here and be the guy to tell you that you can become a developer in three months or six months or even a year, but whatever the time frame may be. But look, of course, I'm not trying to, you know, knock anyone or put anybody down in this video. If you were to able to, you know, to get a job that fast, then I certainly applaud you. And real quick, you know, don't talk down to somebody, you know, or about people. Like when you do so, it really says a lot about your own character. And, you know, oftentimes people who talk down about other people are just only insecure about themselves. So don't talk down to someone just because they did something that you were unable to accomplish. Okay, back to the video. I've been stuck in tutorial hell before, you know, following tutorial after tutorial. I've been the person to just stare at a blank code editor and not know where to start. Okay. Perhaps that's why I feel like I'm qualified to give you this advice. I've been there in your shoes. Okay. So what can I actually do about this? Am I stuck in this never ending cycle of tutorials and switching programming languages and frameworks? Will I ever be able to make any real progress? Yes, and it starts today. First off, just stick with one language, okay? You know, for now at least. Don't worry, you can pick up more languages, you know, as you need to, but for now, stick with one language. Don't buy another tutorial. You don't need another JavaScript 101 course or JavaScript zero to hero, JavaScript mastery. You don't need another one. Did your tutorial teach you about basic syntax and data types and functions and loops and classes? Great. Don't buy another course. Yeah, but I'm still confused about data types and how programming works. That's fine. Buying a second or even a third tutorial is not gonna fix that. All a tutorial is supposed to do is teach you programming basics in that specific language. It's not the end all be all of learning to program and you're certainly not gonna become a JavaScript master by following one tutorial. They are just to learn the basics. So after you finish your tutorial, you know, and you go to start building your own project on your own, you know, from scratch, and you feel like everything you learned just went out the window. Oh my gosh, I followed along with the tutorial, but now I can't even build a single application by myself. That's okay. That's normal. This is where most people stay in the tutorial trap and they just go purchase another tutorial thinking that, hey, maybe it'll stick if I just do one more. That could not be further from the truth. And I'm not saying there'd be zero benefit in doing that. You know, if you purchase three different JavaScript tutorials or courses, you know, from three different teachers, then you'll likely learn something, you know, kind of cool and unique on each different course. But is it really worth going through 40 to 60 hours of content, which really translates into at least 80 to 120 hours of your own time in real life of actual content, you know, just to learn one small thing that probably won't have an effect on your career and you'd likely learn anyways. It's not worth it. So what do I do now that I've finished my tutorial and I still feel really confused? You think of a little project and you build it, but I don't think I know how to build an application that uses, you know, user authentication and makes API calls. Good, guess what? You learn more by researching things for yourself, not following tutorials. So don't buy another tutorial. Just go do a quick Google search or YouTube or W3 schools, whatever it is, and find the specific answer to your question. You don't need another tutorial. Just say, you know, go to Google and say, how do I make an API call in React using Axios? Oh, okay, I got a response. Google, how do I store this response? Let me let you in on a little secret here. As a full-time developer, I use Google every single day, especially on the days that I'm writing more code. 
And I'm not the only one who does this. So, you know, don't get discouraged because you feel like you have to look some things up, okay? That's normal. Learning to code is a mixture of muscle memory and learning how to find answers. So start building projects on your own, no matter how small they may be. Just start building something on your own outside of a tutorial. And I promise you, you know, by looking things up whenever you get stuck, you're going to learn so much more and just solidify that knowledge in your brain. That's all I have for you today, guys. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button. I'll see you on the next one.